here's a little bit of a shocker. Indiana beat Illinois twenty three to twenty. I think we both had Illinois winning. Yeah, that one. man. So I'm hey, shout out to Coach Allen, man. This team showed some resolve in that game. Mm-hmm. They really did. I did not think I don't know if I I didn't think that Indiana could win, but I knew that this was gonna be a, a tough matchup. Yeah. Um, just because their their styles are so similar, mm-hmm. Indiana man, they have not had a a great quarterback in a while. They've had some so so guys. I think this kid that they got in there now, I can't think of his name. Connor Bazelak. Bazelak, that's his name. Bazelak. Maybe, just maybe, they have something in them. I think he's a red shirt freshman, so he's he's been in the program two years. Mm-hmm. Maybe they got something with him. They've got to find a way to match that with obviously with the with the running game that 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 they can depend on. Defense looked all right, I guess. You know, it wasn't a very high scoring game, so I don't know what to think of either one of those teams. But I'm just I'm I'm proud of uh, of Tom mm-hmm. Allen, man, because you lose that one. That that's because right now Brett Bielema is in that mode with his team right now. He's like, well, damn, we just lost to Indiana. Yeah, that's not one and one is not where we expected to be when the season started. So the rest of the Big Ten slate just seems that much bigger. Now, on the flip side with Tom Allen, that's a confidence builder that pushes Mm -hmm. them into the next game as opposed to having to get your guys back up to play. Yeah. Yeah. 